Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video uh, showing how to replace the Vano solenoids in uh, an E90, E91, E92, N52 car. Um, so if you look here, uh, I currently have the engine cover off. Uh, but I think you should be able to access these without removing it, but it's definitely easier if you have it off. Uh, but yeah, you can see the two solenoids are basically right here. So we've got the lower one being the exhaust solenoid and the upper one being the intake solenoid. So uh, this sensor that I'm gonna be removing is this top one right here. This is the intake Vano sensor. Right below it is the exhaust Vano sensor. So like I said, I'm only gonna be doing this top one since that's what I think my issue is. And all you're really gonna need is a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. First off, we're just gonna unplug this sensor. Uh, it's just got this little wire clip. You're just gonna push on it. Clip uh, harness comes off right just like that. You just push the clip on, or you push the clip down and then pull the, the harness off. Set this to the side. This might leak a little bit of oil, so just have a towel ready. And then you're also going to need your new Vano sensor. It's good to just lube up the O-ring with some uh, fresh motor oil as well to help uh, seat the gasket or seat the O-ring in place. Okay. So the, uh, the bolt is right here where I'm at, so it shouldn't take much to break the torque, but just make sure everything is on there properly because the head of the bolt is pretty uh, it's pretty small. Okay, so that's broken loose. So now I'm just gonna undo this by hand. Make sure you don't lose the bolt. little guy so now that that's loose we should be able to just pull this guy out okay so all I did was just kind of like pull it up to like get it to rotate and it's sliding out pretty easily Okay. Old Vano sensor. Just gonna set this aside. Okay, so the O-ring uh, did not come out with it, so um, just make sure you don't forget to pull it out. So it should be easy to come out. There it is. So yeah, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit of oil that's on here. Okay, that should be good. So let's go ahead and lubricate the new O-ring of the Vano sensor. Okay, should be fine. So let's go ahead and pop this guy in now. Okay, I'm just gonna want to try and line up the hole. Okay, should be able to just push it in. I was able to pop it in. Um, it took a lot of force. Uh, I had to go back and put a little bit more uh, motor oil on the O-ring uh, to help with lubrication. Uh, but even then, it still just took like all my strength but if you push it while kind of rotating it a little bit, um, eventually it'll seat. But once you get it seated, 
uh, just kind of turn it so that you can light up the mounting hole. Just like that. And then we'll go ahead and put the, oil, the bolt back in. six foot pounds that's not much so the torque spec on this guy is 8 to 10 Newton meters so that equates to about 70 to 88 inch pounds so I'm just gonna do 75 inch pounds is seated properly. Okay, 75 inch pounds. That's that. Let's go ahead and plug in the harness again. It's all plugged in, and that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clear the code and start the car. Hopefully, that works. Okay, so just FYI, uh, I'm an idiot, and I have the uh, wiring harnesses backwards. So for this harness that's on the driver's side of the car, it should be connected to the exhaust uh, Venos solenoid, which is the lower one, and I currently have it on the top one so my Venus issue uh, probably wouldn't have existed if I didn't mix up the, the wires so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change these out don't make that mistake because I ended up getting a Venus code that led me to replacing the intake Venus solenoid which is why I'm doing this job but it turns out I probably didn't need to do that so I spent 200 bucks for no reason um, all because I mixed up a wiring harness so I'm just gonna switch these guys out and uh, that should solve my issue um, yeah don't confuse them this side is for the intake this side the wiring harness is for the exhaust so they're just opposites so the lower exhaust Vano solenoid gets the wiring harness from this side and the upper intake solenoid gets the wiring harness from this side all right so that's it um, all I have to do now is just uh, clear my code and start the car and hopefully that uh, solves my Vanos issue. We'll see, but yeah, so super easy job. You don't really have to take anything off if you don't want to and if you have small enough hands. Uh, the hardest part is definitely getting that sensor seated back in properly. It takes quite a bit of force to get that uh, O-ring in there, but certainly uh, not too bad of a job. So thanks for watching guys. Hopefully that was helpful. Deuces.